<clears throat> Good morning from the European Forum Albach. This is this amazing European Forum here in the mountains in Tyrol. It's quite amazing. The Austrians with a big history since 45, they have actually built this big conference center into the mountains. I will show you this. Alone the facility is so big. It's over 1000 people which can be seated here in the middle of the mountains. And you will not really believe me if I show you that this is so architecturally well done that you can basically enter. <laughs> it's basically built in the mountains. <laughs> I really love it. It's an architectural jewel and it's now the sun shining. So I want to show you a bit of this amazing scenery here. When you look here, very good. This is the Galtenberg, one of the big mountains here. And this is the Alpine village about 1000 meter above sea level. And you see here this uh, Grattelspitz, the other mountain in the back. And here you see some of the participants. It's this Europe in the world and the Austrian Europe days. So yesterday was the state president of Austria and the state president of Slovenia. And it was quite amazing, a lot of people here. And it's really astonishing architecture. You see up in the mountains, you don't see it from the air because what they have achieved is they built it in the hillside. It's quite impressive and I really love it. Here on the content I have pushed for NATO and that's very clear and I will continue to push for NATO enlargement of the European Union, Austria, Ukraine, Ireland, Malta, Cyprus, Moldova and of course Kosovo and Bosnia and this is my agenda here. I'm also promoting of course a big European reconstruction package of two trillion European euros actually the euro for Ukraine don't forget that but I will push for that and I presented it already yesterday for the victory of Ukraine and the Ukraine victory is coming yesterday the breakthrough at Tokmak in the south towards Molitopol was happening and I say Slava Ukraine I hope that the Victory will come the liberation and basically we force Ukraine to liberate all territories in order to be in NATO. That's what the EU has uh, decided and the NATO partners only once there is peace, there can be NATO membership and then that means that Ukraine has to liberate everything and that is going to happen. And I'm very much looking forward for that one. Good. From these amazing mountains, I will also today continue to present my agenda. I apologize as well to my Brazilian friends. I'm not going to dismantle you. There is no attack immediate or something like this. Don't worry. <laughs> but I became relatively famous now as a NATO spokesperson, which I'm obviously not. And also I'm not uh, in any way affiliated with NATO, but I love it and I want everybody to live in peace. I'm an economist. I want security in order to have prosperity. And that's what I'm fighting for. And I hate BRICS because they endorse genocidal Putin. And so I call for dismantlement of BRICS. And if there is evil empires, they must be dismantled, as you know very well. Like Austria was dismantled after World War I. Like Yugoslavia was dismantled after their war against everybody else. And as well, the Soviet Union, that evil empire. And the next evil empire to fall is Russia. And if Brazil wants to be in that list, yeah, be sure it will be not me dismantling but it will be your own people dismantling Brazil or Nigeria or you know what was that uh, Iran Saudi Arabia all these countries who think it's a cool thing to align with genocidal Putin I wish you all the worst and you will see the defeat and if the alliance is so strong that they will all stick to Putin once he's lost I really doubt seriously good this is beautiful here and it's quite amazing I love it and I wish you uh, all the best. Come to Alpbach 2024. It's amazing scenery. I really love it and I just can say enjoy the European spirit which you see in these amazing mountains. Thanks a lot. All the best. Bye.